Hi, I'm Roger Mays. I'm the Director of Theater here at Shadron State College. We'd like to welcome everyone to our behind the scenes version of Rabbit Hole by David Lindsay Bear, our second show of our 2009-2010 season. My name's Angela Haysacker and in Rabbit Hole I'm playing Becca who is the mother of, well, the son that actually died in the play and um, I'm approaching this role, it's been very challenging because for me in my family I am the youngest sister, I have one older sister and so coming in and Becca's being the older sister to Izzy, um, it was definitely a role switch for me as you know, person because I've never been the older sister. So as I was, after I got cast, I had to start thinking about, well, what would my sister do in this situation or what would she have done? And so that helped me a lot to think about my sister and how she acted towards me to how I should play Becca, I guess. What's different about from me playing Emily the Kitchen Wench and Once Upon a Mattress to Becca in the Rabbit Hole is definitely um, how big the role is. I. I was on stage quite a bit with Emily and I learned how to react a lot because I only had a couple lines. But now being Becca, I'm on stage most of the play and it's a big difference. And I don't know, it could be, it was stressful at times learning all those lines, but I don't know, it's really exciting to be have a big role in it, so. I would just say that uh, for the different varieties of that we have in the place here are just great because the last play, Once Upon a Mattress, uh, was more of like happy and a little bit fairy tale-ish and you got to dance. And then coming into Rabbit Hole, it's definitely more realistic in the fact that um, things happen to people and people do struggle and it's, you just have to really know and understand this play and how you're going to take the approach to it to really get into your character and realize that this person is really struggling and they probably, if I was in this situation, I'd probably say something that they say in the play. I'm Katie Curtis and I play Izzy. Um, Izzy's in her early 30s. She's more of the comic relief, I guess, in this play. You know, she's just very carefree. She really doesn't think about what she does or what she says until it's too late. And, has to figure out how to get herself out of the mess. She gets into a fight, she's pregnant, and just bad timing for the family. And I really don't know how I really play Izzy, really. It just kind of came to me out of nowhere, I guess. When somebody reads a script, they have you know an idea in their head on how they would see this person. But mostly when I'm out, you know, out here playing, playing her, it's more how the other characters are acting with me. It's how I respond to them with you know, my lines or whatever. In high school, we did a lot of comedies. We did murder mysteries and stuff as well, but they were always funny because, you know, it was a younger audience and just the group of people. We didn't really understand how to make a serious play serious. So I was very, very nervous auditioning for this one because this is the very first serious play I've ever auditioned for. So it's kind of a good thing that I'm more of the comic relief because it gives me that almost, you know, comforting aspect of the comedy ones, but dipping my feet into the serious aspect of this play. So you just have to be able to try anything. And being in this one, it's been complicated trying to put the serious face on and, you know, realize that this kind of stuff happens, you know, in certain families and just try to show audience members that this can happen and, you know, no matter what, if, if a family sticks together, you can get through anything. I'm Rhett Breedlove, and I play Howie. Something about Howie is that he's, he's a family man. He goes to work every day. He comes home, comes home to his wife. He's always about trying to support his family. He's always trying to stay calm. He's never really the kind of guy that's going to, you know, snap and get mad about something, you know, small. So he really has a short, uh, a long temper, I guess I should say. The way I've been approaching this role is definitely trying to imagine how someone would try to get over the situation that's involved in the play. You don't want to, you know, let the audience pity you. You want the audience to, you know, kind of root for you and, you know, hopefully this character will move on and can get over this horrible tragedy that they've encountered instead of, you know, oh, poor me. 
this is horrible, I'm sad all the time because that's just boring. Definitely what's what's different from the last one is definitely the cast. I've been this is probably the thirteenth or fourteenth play I've been in or been involved in since I've been here. And the entire cast, I've never worked with any of them before. It's just been a complete breath of fresh air. Everyone's new, everybody's getting to know everyone. It's just great. There's one scene, and usually this doesn't happen with me because this because I've done this many, many times before, but there's a new freshman, his name is Travis. He plays the man, or the teenager, who had killed my son in this car accident. And there's one scene where I have to just, you know, scream at him or just let him have it. Since he's been so new, and I've gotten to know him, he's just a really quiet, gentle kind of guy. And it's, it's just really hard to yell at him, because I don't know him that well, and he's always just really friendly and just kind of <laughs> be the kind of guy that would be easy to walk over, and you don't want to do that with him. But, you know, there's a temptation to say, you know, Travis, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm only acting, you know that, but, and you know, of course he knows that, and I know it's stupid to say, but definitely the, when I do that, I see the actor and him take over. Definitely shows a lot of promise in his future here, just with how he presents himself and his professionalism. Same goes with the rest of them, too. All of them are just fun to work with. They're all ready to go each time. They're all... They all love to have fun. There hasn't been a dull moment this entire time, especially given the circumstances for a kind of a downer play. So it's been a lot of fun with these new guys. But definitely something how this has differed is that the last play was all about singing and look at me and look at me, I'm Sir Harry. I'm, I like to stand in front of the mirror and get people to watch me. This has been a dramatic shift from that kind of role to this kind of role because Howie is nothing like anything I've ever done. Even Cat on a Hot Tin Roof last year, Brick Polly was nowhere near like this. Howie's definitely really original for something I've ever done. He's been really, really tough. Really hard to really get inside his head.